Sodium silicate water glass is useful for a lot of different things. It's used in internal combustion engines, especially in exhaust systems if there's a leak in there. You can also just use it as a straight up cement, as a glue, as a very strong adhesive, as a sealant. Once it dries out, it undergoes a chemical reaction and it basically becomes a glass. You can use it in a bunch of situations where a normal glue would not hold up. Making water glass is pretty straightforward. You take 10 parts water, you add four to eight parts lye. You have to mix it in slowly or else you get a lump of lye at the bottom of your container. The third important ingredient is silica gel. Silica gel sounds familiar? Right, because it is. It's the desiccant do not eat packages that you're always snacking on that come in shoes and electronics, sucks moisture out of the air, keeps things dry. Silica gel comes in these hard little beads. You have to make sure you crush those beads as much as possible. You want as much surface area to get it to mix with the water. Mix all that stuff together, you have a pretty intense chemical reaction. Exothermic, bubbling, foaming. It lets out fumes that I was breathing in that I probably shouldn't have been breathing in. But what comes from it is this incredibly stable, non-toxic substance, basically glass in liquid form. That gel is your glue. You can dump that into whatever water-based thing that you want to seal the bottom of. You can put it in your enemy's car engine. You can put it between a couple of pieces of metal, drive the rest of the water out either by waiting or by heat, and it'll bond it as well as it can be bonded.